Welcome in from our nation's capital on this Veterans Day weekend. A pivotal matchup in the MEAC, North Carolina Central, and Howard co-champions from a season ago. The Eagles here on third and ten. Davius Richard feeling the pressure, and he's brought down. Great play up front. Uh, a victory here on the road in D.C. First and ten, the pass complete as Jarrett Hunter comes out of the backfield, tries to put on a couple of moves, and then finally brought down by Jason Chambers. Chambers' health was in question. Again, one of those player junction with Larry Scott, who calls the plays. Another quick out the backfield for Jarrett Hunter. Josh Pullen making the top rushing attacks in the conference and top off, one of the top offenses as well as you see Ja'Shawn Scroggins. And Ja'Shawn Scroggins with a solid pickup tackle by Ed James. Directing traffic, the sensational sophomore. And he's going to follow his buddy and try to bounce to the outside. There's Ian James. He's electrifying on the outside. Cross the 25-yard line. And Eden James, that's exactly what he can do with that 25-yard run that his son just popped off. Here Williams play action pass, Gavin Harris. Harris, who caught a touchdown last week and tackled by, starting to get a little bit more confidence with him. First down, moving quickly. The carry up ahead by Eden James. A gain of about one. Yeah, you talked about Gavin Harris. True. Trying to switch things up, keep the defense of the Eagles off balance. Williams with the handoff. The patient running of Eden James still on his feet, trying to muscle his way into the end zone. He's going to be stopped short, but there's a penalty marker back at the six yard line. Tea party on that last play. And Quentin Williams trying to sneak into the end zone. Does he get there? There's no signal as of yet, and yes, he does! Bison on the board first! Um, among the key... Like, what is that? <laughs> this is what they say down there. <laughs> Davius Richard in the pass out, and I think it's incomplete as it was dropped at the last moment by the... what they call it. I tell you, the Greek Bowl was on fire. It was Davius Richard trying to follow his blocking. Daquan Thomas and Kenny Gallup couldn't get to him. But sure tackling is one of the conversations Troy Douglas has had. First and 10, empty backfield for Richard looking, looking. And too tall for Tuan Flip Jr. in the right position. But Christian White couldn't get to it in time on third and 13. Richard has the protection, looking, and Kenny Gallup was right there along. And following the eyes of Richard, going for Tom Twan Flip Jr. Talk about a million dollars on the line. Central makes it to the Cricket Celebration Bowl. They can start booking their reservations, and Howard just thinking, hey, we can knock them off and win out. We can have a scenario in which we can make it. Switch receivers to the bottom of your screen. Williams back to pass again, feeling the pressure, escapes the pocket, goes for a run, and then decides to slide after a very solid gain. And another thing, advantage, Larry Scott said, this year we've got to jump on him first. Williams lets it go, finds his man out of the backfield. That's E. James, and James trying to do a little shake and something else, and a late flag flies in at the end. You've seen the ability to escape and avoid pressure. He's just got to put it all together. In this important game. The patience there, the pass complete, but Max Uren was quickly there to drive the receiver back. A loss of a great high school program with Wise High School won a couple of state championships. Here's Quentin Williams going with that deep ball down the sideline, and the pass is incomplete. Casey Hawthorne was the intended target. An area where they have excelled this season, seventh best on third down conversions with an all of FCS. And here, Jared Hunter with the great grab, and Hunter still on his feet, and Hunter is able to pick up the first down. 
in terms of what's in store, you know, one of the things that was a big conversation topic was not being co-champions and sole champions this year to erase any <laughs> doubt. Uh, just kind of what were some of those kind of, so, you know, I'll just bow down for that one. I want to ask you one more question. It is second and six in the pass complete first time Nashawn Hezekiah was targeted, and he picks up the first down. Just the dominance. That they're talking about renaming it the Cricket Miak Celebration Bowl. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I think that would oh. be wonderful <laughs> if we can make that happen. You, d d don't dive into that because all he's trying to do is stir the pot, the victory. On second and seven. Got a crease. And there he is again, ladies and gentlemen, reintroducing Mr. Eden James. 45 yard run, no flags on the field, and another touchdown. For well, but watch the patience. The initial hole, a little bottled up, but he knows where he has to get to. Keeps his eye on the running lane, becomes a foot race, and Eden James showing out for the bison. Talk about the chip off the old block with Brian Harvey, who was a scout team guy last year, who turned into a starter at center. So the carry ahead, and you think about it, coming into this year, they had a big loss along that offensive line, and then the mentality, they lost some linemen, they brought in some transfers, didn't work out, and they still don't complain, and the beat's been rolling for them. Richard takes a hit. The receiver falls to the ground, and the flag flies out there at the end. Richard out of Bell Lake, Florida. We call that area the muck. The handoff here, and that's Latrell Collier. And Collier was upended after that tackle made by Bruce. Continue to show why he's a star. And it's Davius Richard saying, wait a minute, I'm going to call my own. Davius Richard into Howard territory, across the 20, 10, end zone, touchdown, Davius Richard. Strong man flex, 76 yards later. Oh, but showing you here the dual threat ability, makes his decision quick, makes a move, and this is where the Florida running skills just kick in. Look at him setting up the block to the outside, the only guy that can make a tackle, he ran towards him to give the wide receivers some time. To Several weeks back, had 177 yards against Northwestern when they really knocked off the Wildcats here. There's Jared Hunter to the outside, and Jared Hunter is still on his feet and still in bounds. The cutback, and Jared Hunter showing off that he's got something to offer, too. As their First guy missed behind the line of scrimmage. Hunter, once again, that Wildcat, and then brought down quickly. Not fooled was Jaden Flaker, the linebacker. And one of the things about in the backfield with him. As Hezekiah moves to the top of your screen, three wide receivers. Williams and instead finds Gavin Harris for the touchdown. 18 yards out and another score for the Bison. So freshman, he's going to run a skinny post. He runs this route almost like a wide receiver does. Look at the separation from the safety. He is back on the field with his partner Mookie in the backfield. Pass is complete. Pickup of five. Find exploited for North Carolina Central. Well, Devin Smith, who has been a favorite target of Richard since he's been in the program, instead going underneath and setting up Jamari Taylor. And Taylor picking up the first down just across the 35 yard line. Cool and calm customer at that quarterback position standing strong once again and davis with a reception joaquin davis feeling hit for plate Perrin, but a seven that's got the eagles championship ready jamari taylor who stood up and driven back and terrence holland with the big hit since davis in motion the handoff to taylor and taylor is going to be just short depends Ooh. on the spot one of them is giving it to him and the, the he's back in the ball game at center snap to richard richard with the throw and nearly caught just a little bit behind the tight end luke bracy looks the play clock snap with five left on there 
giving chase and nearly intercepted. Jeppin Jackson had it in his hands and dropped it. Oh, he motion. Richard with time, middle of the field, and finds that man who was in motion, Tynez Water, who's going to be stopped a few yards short of the first college football as we've seen Gavin Harris come up with a touchdown reception. And Ian Wheeler on the carry on first down. Graduate out of Houston, Texas. Five minutes left in the first half, second and two. They give it to Wheeler once more, trying to surge ahead is going to be a yard short. It's going to be third and one. Jaden Taylor there to bring him down. Some of their third downs here in this one. Can they get this one yard? And yes, they do. Ian Wheeler still on his feet and dragging Khalil Baker, who finally is able to bring him down. And four. They go with Wheeler again. And the tackle made by Ja'Kai Brevard. And gain of four, positive yardage on first down. Demetrius Weatherspoon on the right tackle at 6'7". The little, right, seven. Tackle. The little <laughs> yeah. right tackle at 6'7". <laughs> and right now we have seen five straight runs from the Howard Bison. Mixing it up this mentioned earlier, Jay. He's a guy they like to go to in these situations. Feeling the pressure, letting it go. And broken up, and the play made. So says we've got this grit and toughness, and they've made plays when they needed to. Brandon Codrington with some room. Brandon Codrington, who was electrifying, across the 50, 40, 30. Brandon Codrington has one man to beat, and he's in for the touchdown. Special teams stand up. For the Eagles. Back to Central, and they make you pay. And this is just a fantastic return by the whole special teams unit as he was untouched into the end zone. Fantastic play by North Carolina Central. This last minute and 45 seconds. The pass to Richie Ilaraza is complete. In a gain of five and quickly moved. Williams with plenty of time and Casey Hawthorne hauls it in and it's an eagle territory and the pile up afterward but still moving and there you hear the whistle at the end of the play Casey Hawthorne that much time on the clock I want the end zone you need to get back to double digits Williams one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside and overthrows Casey Hawthorne on the near side there is some that stops the clock for them. 36.4 seconds remaining. And what a play made, almost getting to the quarterback and bringing him down was Christian Smith. Barely time in between plays. Williams trailing back, trying to set up that screen. And Jared Hunter breaks the tackle. Jared Hunter with another move. Out of move. bounds, too. And he gets out of bounds. John Central yet to dial up a blitz. Have not seen them bring pressure yet. Underneath, there's Nashawn Hezekiah, middle of the field, that slant route. And Hezekiah. Too high safety, so they're not bringing it. Williams has time going for Ilaraza. Missed and missed that opportunity here, second down, to the locker room for halftime. Going to the outside, a lot of contact with oh, Hudson wow, and flag. Smith and a late four. trying to talk to his defense right there and make sure they're lined up where they need to be. Jared Hunter who's flagged out of the backfield and they try to go instead for Casey Hawthorne. Does he haul it in? Touchdown. Touchdown. Delayed touchdown signal there as Hawthorne. With the it's Williams buying some time and this is the, oh yeah. Morgan did catch it in bounds. It appears, yes, from yeah. that angle and the foot being down, of course, they will review the, their ticket to the Cricket Celebration Bowl and will win.
the Miak on the carry, and Latrell Collier, who we haven't heard from a bunch today, on the carry pickup of one. Well, this defensive line continuing. With Just young up front. They've managed all season long. Richard still looking. Jamel Stewart giving chase. Couldn't get to him. And finally, a number of blue jerseys were able to bring him down. Can he gallop along the team? Outside of that, Central has come up with impressive wins. And an impressive comeback as Davius Richard right into the catching zone of Joaquin Davis. And Davis with the reception. Joaquin Davis, who was targeted. A Second left on the play clock, gets it off. Pump fake from Davies Richards, still keeping his eyes downfield. Tries to escape, and Terrence Holland with the ankle tackle to bring him down. One thing we're seeing Howard do a better job of this week is tackling. Absolutely. Richard with time, but again, not much room to escape. Tough to bring down, and Darian Broken Burr. He's able to do so. That was strong. Time is Warner come up with a couple of receptions apiece. You know, third and long, they dump it underneath to Latrell Collier and stuffed out and played exceptionally well by the Howard defense. There is Broken Burr again. Loss of six. And they're, they're showing you why they don't give up passing yards. They're shutting out this Eagle receiving core. Area where they have excelled all season and one of the tops in the nation, Braylon Smith trying to find a little extra room. Dusso stays on his feet across the 30. Here comes Braylon Smith. He's got blocking up ahead down the sideline. Braylon Smith is finally drugged down out of bounds by Daquan Thomas, the offensive lineman. Through Green Stadium to be a BN champion, and we want to be the big dog. They're embracing it thus far at the Wildcat. Jared Hunter, Jared Hunter. The strong run there out of the Wildcat on first down. They see something there that they're getting with the Wildcat. You have to think Central's got to make an adjustment to this Wildcat formation. Look out. And there the ball goes trailing back, and a big loss on the play as Eden James was able to get to it in time. The 14-yard line of the Eagles. And Quentin Williams going with Casey Hawthorne. And the pass is incomplete. Brandon Codrington was on the coverage. So a Richard or what? Harris has been more than capable. His one start on the year had a phenomenal game. And what an interesting turn of events here. Darian Brokenberg, once again, we call his name, taking down the ball carrier, Latrell Call, you get that win over Valley. They hand it off once more to Latrell, Mookie Collier. Collier is headed to the Legacy Bowl. Picks up a game of two. As Davius leaves. And get a snap off. One second remaining on the play clock. They get it off in time. Davis Richard looking, standing. Tall has a man wide open down the seam. And misses it. Chauncey Spikes could not haul it in. Oops. Came up with a lot of people as a nice tackle made by Cole Jones coming up from his row vertical spot. And, and this is in control. He's in command, put the ball in his hands and let him determine how this game outcome will come. Casey Hawthorne with the reception. It'll be about three yards short of the first down and the sideline with call. Clint Williams. Look at that. And he decides to run it, but a flag is back out. Near the line of scrimmage and it's likely coming back. Big third down coming up. Underneath to Eaton James, and James picks up the first down and more. We've seen them pick up third and longs throughout the occasion. We just fall back on the way that we are building right now. 
First and 10, in James, oh, a touchdown saving tackle made as Jaden Flaker comes up with it. Eden James, our high school track star, with an important touchdown saving. Bring down. All right, here we go again. Max Huron this time is able to stop the ball carrier, James. But Flaker, a program guy. The toss to Jared Hunter. Got a little stutter step, but not fooled as a number of white jerseys were there to tackle a Max Urine back to back tackles. Talk about Seven for 10 tonight on third down. Another one here. Just missed time as Hezekiah has it go through his hands. Wow. And that was the pass. And the throw was made by Quentin Williams, whose receiver just couldn't feel. What would have been a 45 yard attempt. But instead, they try to go underneath, and Jared Hunter is able to get the first down inside the red zone. Well, the high risk pays off with the high reward, Jay. Absolutely, but did, did they not hear me? I told them. They look like they know what they're playing for. They've been playing from ahead all night long, trying to track on, tack on some more. Oh, what a spin move by Jared Hunter with the balance in for the touchdown. Wow, 17-yard run, but that was all Jared Hunter. Talk about the talented running back crew. Look at the spin move with the balance. The ability to finish it off. Fantastic play by Jared. And after the snap, I'll tell you why. Back to pass, Davius Richard going on the outside. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Kenny Gallup was the man there and couldn't haul it in. Was my ball into their spring game, and now they do the traditional homecoming. Okay. Because there's so many other great ones out there. It's Davius Richard on the carry and a short gain on the play. It's going to bring up third down. What, what was your one, the first one you put on? Southern. Southern? You like Southern? I like, I mean. You can top last year's homecoming when they beat Howard. But they did this year. Darian Brokenberg, the best pass rusher on the team and continuing to get to the quarterback as Brokenberg at three. And running backfield, and here's Casey Hawthorne out of the Wildcat. And Hawthorne, he's brought down no gain on the play. Quantez Mansfield makes the tackle. His numbers thus far, 19 throws, or 19 receptions, and make it another one to that is Casey Hawthorne is off to the races, and Casey Hawthorne, you're not gonna catch him. Blowing by 65 yards. You said Quentin Williams was hot. He's showing you he is. University football team is playing their best game of the season thus far in a crucial contest. Casey Hawthorne, the explosive playmaker from. Outside of that, they've had great success out to an 8 one record, but all of that is on the line here. 14 minutes to go, Devin Smith on the return, and Devin Smith trying to get a spark going along that right side, across the 50, and Devin Smith runs out of bounds near his sideline. That's perhaps the play, and I love that Codrington got up there and helped to create a path for him. And Davius Richard rewarding him with a reception as Devin Smith on the completion. On second and two. Richard with time, escaping, picks up the first down, outrunning Terrence Holland, and then skirts out of bounds. And that's what you have to do right now. Shotgun, find the award finalist, Davius Richard, for what is like the academic Heisman. Richard steps up. Had a man just throws it out of bounds. Strong East Richard try to beat us through the air. We could have success. The receivers haven't been able to get open as you mentioned before. But Mookie Collier says, I'm open right now. I got a, a nice hole right there and open for business. And Mookie Collier picks up the first down. 12 yards on the play. And you see, they just lock down these wide receivers. Well, bad, 
Nobody over to the 10 yard line, still searching, searching, and finally gets it into the hands of Devin Smith, but a flag also comes out as well. The wide receiver is getting open. Nobody open? That's what I mean, like, it's tough. I mean, you can say Richard didn't have his sharpest game at all, but when you don't have guys. The pressure from Terrence Holland up the middle. Pee Wee gets it away, and the pass is incomplete. It's fourth down. Good job of timing up. 11. In terms of percentage, but it better. Has a man open. That's Devin Smith, and Devin Smith inside the five-yard line. And Central is able to convert, although Clayton Perrin coming up with it, they say. And here it's usually Davius Richard time. Touchdown into the hands of Twan Flip Jr. From three yards out, Antoine Flip Jr. Three more touchdowns in order to get back in this game. Trying to find an open man, and they're not able to convert. Well, 10 plays, 50. The play was that touchdown going into the locker room at halftime by Casey Hawthorne to give Howard a 14-point lead going into the locker room after Central had made it a seven-point game. And, and ever you, since then, they haven't looked back. Yeah, you, you saw that graphic pop up in Trunk in February of 2020 during the pandemic has found his why here at Howard. Casey Hawthorne comes off slow. So the part of the Alabama staff instead opted not to and decided to come here to Howard University. Felt like he could make the greatest impact. The support day in and day out really sets the tone for the games and for an entire season as they punted away to Brandon Codrington. Codrington, who's still on his feet, and Codrington, who's finally brought down. Remember, he had a punt return for a touchdown earlier in this game, so the Bison give the ball back to right here. Offsides, defense, number 80. It's a five-yard penalty from the previous spot. It will result in a first down. So that's a huge one as Bison get the ball back. Central picked a bad day not to play their A game. They hand off to Jared Hunter. Hunter trying to sneak through and find some yards, does so, and Malcolm Reed comes up with the tackle. We can't talk enough about Jared Hunter for as much as we've mentioned Eden James, Jared Hunter has done. Let him be in charge of the running game and see if you just muscle your way to a couple first downs. Finding a crease. There was Jared Hunter brought down by Jaden Flaker, but right at the first down marker. He strokes on the golf course, so <laughs> don't even ask for it. On first and 10, it's Quentin Williams with the carry. Quentin Williams. He's been a tremendous improvement to the staff there. Greg McGill have a bright young coach in the future. On second and 10, electing to throw it, and the pass is complete. Versus Morgan State next week. Morgan State, one of the most improved teams out there. Got a big victory over South Carolina State. It's that pretty deep ball that Quinn Williams can throw. And there you see a couple of flags come out at the end of the play as the speedster, Jamar Ibram. So I'm Delaware State. This is assuming they will. Delaware State struggling this year. The case for Morgan State would be to beat Howard next week and have Central lose to Delaware State next week. And then the Bears yep. have that outside chance of going there. So 
cricket celebration bowl if they want to, but they still do have a chance. And when the cricket celebration bowl was created, and you have to give a lot of credit to Dr. Dennis E. Thomas, the playing in the national championship game. Nice jump cut. I'll tell you, that running back room is talented for, for Howard. I mean, that was just a one yard run, but he showed some moves to make a jump cut in that tight can for one. Quint Williams will try to get that push from behind. Cole Jones trying to bring him back. And you know what's taking place here now? Howard wants 50. They gave up 50 last year to Central. Central kind of rubbed it in their face. Out of the timeout, Howard on first down. Because they called timeout, Quinn Williams able to come back into the game. As Jared Hunter scoots into the end zone. Touchdown once more, Howard Bison. 20-yard scamper for Jared Hunter. Now, what did I tell you earlier? Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, Quinn Williams is still on. Did you take this look at a fantastic game by Jared Hunter being a football player? But I told you in the pregame, we said it was a new. They had to play well then. Hats off to the team. The, the jump pass, pass and the two-point conversion is complete. So the 50 return this year from. Good enough to do that. Certain teams, you get there, you put on the jerseys, you're gonna win. Howard is not that team, but when they put it all together, it's a very good football team. And, and more importantly, let me, let me give you a little Howard note. The key think makers. And Davius Richard brought down hard. And I think the other... Once more, feeling the pressure last time, it was Ian White. This time, emerging as Noah among 65 in week two against Morehouse. In, in the job that Coach Scott did, I mean, we were down there when they lost the game at South Carolina State last week, and they were deflated. And I thought... All phases of the game came together for his Howard Bison. The rushing attack was spectacular with James and Jared Hunter. They came in as one of the best pass defenses in the country. They held Central to 77 yards.